hi guys uh, in this uh, video I'll be explaining what are partial classes what are the uh, benefits of uh, using partial classes and partial methods and finally how to uh, implement partial classes in your uh, ASP.NET application so uh, partial classes is a new feature added in uh, C Sharp 2.0 and uh, Visual Studio 2005. Uh, it is supported uh, in .NET Framework 2.0. If you are working with uh, .NET Framework 1.0 uh, and 1.1, uh, then uh, the partial class may not work. It is uh, possible uh, to split the definition of a single class or a structure uh, or an interface uh, over two or more source files so each source file contains a section of class definition and all parts are combined uh, when the application uh, is in compile, compile time or runtime so uh, in a nutshell partial class uh, allows a single file class member to be divided among multiple files source code files at, at the compile time these these multiple files get compiled in uh, in one single file as as if the class members had all been defined or specified in a single file Regardless of uh, whether you know the ins and outs of partial class, you use them every time uh, you create a ASP.NET uh, web page using the code behind. So, uh, as you know, our ASP.NET page is typically divided into two files: a markup file, which is which is this, uh, which is an markup file uh, with .aspx extension and a code file with a .cs extension or .vb extension the markup file contains the uh, basic html controls or the static html uh, web controls and data binding syntax and the code file contains page level events handlers for the web controls defined in the markup page so the code file can uh, can reference the web controls defined in the markup file so this uh, there is a question here how does the code file have access to the web controls defined in the markup file so the answer is uh, if you look closely at the class definition uh, in the code file uh, note that the, the class is marked as a partial class uh, this code defines a partial class named underscore default so uh, note that it does not contain any reference to the uh, web controls defined in the markup portion that is, uh, if I had a label or a button in the markup file, uh, its ID property is set to uh, button one. We could write code in the code behind, like button one dot text equals something and yet uh, there is no uh, definition of the button one uh, in the code behind class so uh, let's see what are the benefits of uh, partial class uh, so more, more than one developer can uh, simultaneously write the code for the class as in when working for a large project uh, spreading a class over separate files allows multiple uh, programmers to work on it simultaneously and 
that's the major advantage of using partial class uh, and you can easily write your code for a vs.net generated class as in uh, partial class uh, enables the code generator to generate code in one file uh, while the developer who may need to extend the auto generated uh, logic can do in a separate file while uh, which eliminates the worry that the code generator uh, might overwrite a developer's customization customized code so uh, one more benefit of partial class is uh, they are useful with uh, tools like uh, typed dataset and linked to SQL uh, because uh, which gener uh, auto generate class files to assist with uh, data access and now let's move on to the uh, implementation part of classical partial class uh, I have an employee class over here and let's say I want to uh, split this class in two different files or two different classes so there is some some reason so I'll add a partial keyword over here and I'll create another class which will be a partial class of my M class employee uh, the employee class contains various members such as employee ID, first name, last name and let's say I want to calculate the employee salary in another class so uh, in this way uh, I can separate my single class into two different classes and I can make changes uh, in, in this file and at, at, at runtime or at compile time uh, all, all these changes will be merged into one single file so uh, in short uh, partial class uh, allows class and method definition to be split uh, across multiple files uh, which allows the code generator tool to make it its right to one file while our customizations can be made to an entirely separate file and the compiler intelligently combines the definition together uh, into one single file at compile time so now let's uh, move on to uh, partial methods and see the implementation uh, of partial methods